six cuttings, six cups. and welcome back to the farmhouse. Today I am in front of our house and I am getting ready to propagate some of these hydrangeas. As you guys know, this is not our forever homestead and we are constantly learning and growing our skills so that when we get to our future homestead, we can hit the ground running. We have done this by learning different gardening techniques, testing those techniques out, We've also done a lot with from scratch cooking and canning and preserving. And we are very, we feel very confident in all of those areas. But something else we wanna do before we move to our forever future homestead is we want to take as much of this homestead with us as possible. Just to give you guys a little history, my parents built this house about, it's about 35 to 38 years ago. I'd have to actually do the actual math but it was raw land. They built the house and then they built up everything around it. It was farmland before, so there were no trees here or anything. So anything that is added, my parents added. And I wanna preserve that history and that legacy. So in order to do that, I take cuttings from as many plants as I can and propagate them. I also collect seedlings that are on the ground that grow, the squirrels grow them, or I will even collect the acorns from our amazing oak trees and I will grow them. So today is one of those days where I am going to take some cuttings from these hydrangea bushes that my mom planted, gosh, probably 10 years ago, and I am going to propagate them so that we can take them with us. To get started, I am going to go get some supplies and then I will be right back. The night before you want to propagate your hydrangeas, you wanna make sure that they get a good drink of water. We got a really big rainstorm last night, so these guys got a great drink of water, which makes today the perfect day to cut them, to propagate them. What I am going to do is I am going to cut them. So on this one here, you wanna cut the green growth, not necessarily the brown stuff. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna come down here. I'm gonna cut right underneath of two, a set of leaves. So right like this, okay? I'm gonna cut off these two bottom leaves, which is going, this is called a nodule, and it, when you dip it in root hormone, which I'll show you next, this is a perfect medium and a perfect area for all of those cells to develop like crazy and create some roots. So I'm then going to cut, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna cut, keep one set of leaves and cut right about here. And then I'm gonna take this to my potting bench to do the rest. But I'm gonna propagate probably about six of these. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple more cuttings. This one was one of the original bushes my mom planted, so I wanna make sure I get a good cutting from this one. I, I have about six. I'm gonna throw all this extra green in the compost and we're gonna head on back to my potting bench. So as you can see, the boys have been filling up some cups with some Promix potting soil. Promix is our go-to potting soil for anything that we are going to grow in pots. We absolutely love it. We actually started all of our seeds in Promix this year and had great success. I'll link it below for you if you are looking for a potting mix. Six cuttings, six cups. So here are our cuttings that we had done out in the front yard and we did leave two leaves on these. I am gonna trim them a little bit more. These leaves are going to kind of act like satellites and they're going to be what collects all of the sunshine for the plant. So here is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna get out my root hormone, dip this, the bottom, in the root hormone, make sure it gets nice and covered. 
And then I am going to push it down into our soil, pack it in just a little bit, and move on to the next one. Yay! They are all in their cups. I'm going to go get some water and water them in. I am going to let that soak in a little bit and then probably give it another water. I want the water to drain out the bottom a little bit to make sure that they are thoroughly watered in. They have been pretty watered in and I see water starting to come out the bottom of a few of them. So we are gonna move on to the next step. We are going to set these up in their own mini greenhouses. And to do this, we are going to use these Sterilite containers that I picked up at Walmart. They are clear so that the sunlight can come into them, but they also have lids to keep them, to keep all the humidity inside. I'm gonna place these in here. We have all of our seed seedlings, cuttings in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom just to make sure that it has kind of enough humidity, not too much. I am going to put the lid on. This is going to go on the south side of our house. You want it to go in a spot that does not get direct sunlight, but gets indirect light. So in front of it is lots of open, clear sky, but the sun is never going to hit the outside of this container. And then we'll go back and we'll check on it in about six to eight weeks to see how they were doing. If you notice that your soil is dry or the humidity is just kind of dropping out of your container, you wanna make sure that you add a little bit of water to the bottom so that that can keep the humidity up. We are super excited about these. It's another step closer to moving to our future homestead and carrying on our legacy. Make sure that you hit subscribe and that notification bell to be notified the next time we upload a new video about our homesteading adventures and what is going on around the homestead. Thanks so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today and we will talk to you soon.